It's so special. They don't make this regularly. No? Oh my gosh, they scrambled eggs, huh? Yeah. Mm hmm? Good morning, everyone. I hope you're all doing well. This is David Hoppin from David's Bin here, coming at you from beautiful Dubai, UAE. Today, I'm so excited because I'm here with my boy, Payman. Payman. What's up? We've been in contact for years. This is the face of Expo 2020. Wow. <laughs> this guy's awesome. Today, we're going to Emirati Food Tour. We're going to three spots, right? Three spots, that's it. All in the Jumeirah area. Okay. All authentic Emirati food, and they're rare over here. So you don't have a lot of Emirati restaurants. Exactly. We sit on the floor, eat with our hands like they used to years, like decades ago and stuff like that. And I love that you're ready. I'm ready. <laughs> I look good, right? Yeah. Yalla, yalla, let's go. So that's called the Hamdaniya. 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 There you go. Okay. Yeah. I know because I think in Jordan it's Hata or something like that. Uh, I think so. Something like that. And, and this is like the informal way. So technically you should be wearing this, I should be wearing I that. I know, right? right? But we're like flip. Yeah. Awesome. And this restaurant is called? Nahash. So I'm actually not in here, by the way. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to eat together for the first time. Let's do I'm, it. So, so when, we, when we say how good it is, I'll tell you how good it is compared to everybody else. Okay. All right. What's up, man? How you doing? Loving this restaurant. Beautiful, right? Sleek. How's everything good? <laughs> <laughs> Super nice, modern. So here we have just regular dining, right? So just regular tables. Over here we have a place for kids if they want to play. And we're going to the very back to sit down. We're gonna sit over there? All right. Some little private room. And it's, it's like a, a majlis, right? A majlis is like a living room set like this. So this is old style, all these cushions and stuff on the floor. And usually you'll sit like in a, in a circle or a U. Take our shoes off over here. Always step in everywhere with your right foot. Right foot. Yeah. It, it's just customary to do that. Tradition. Everything with the right. This way, you over here. So this is the top of the room, right? The main guest gets to sit on top of the room. You know, I love doing this. The only thing is after a while, my legs hurt. Oh, it's all good. It's all good. You can like move around and stuff like that. Oh, so but this is actually very comfortable. Yeah. Wow. So yeah. cushions, very nice. Yeah. Because I did this in Kuwait. Yeah. A little different, right? Yeah. You know, and, and they usually put like a plastic and then you yeah, have yeah. the food, right? They're going to do that as well. Okay. They're going to do that as well? Yeah. Awesome. And traditionally, these, uh, these cushions and everything would have like nice embroidery on it. And th that embroidery would be handmade. They don't do it anymore. And a lot of people don't have this kind of room anymore. Exactly. But generally in the past, everybody had a room, which was floor seating, like this. Okay. Nice cushions, and it's just like for guests and everything like that. People sit around, you get coffee, you eat, and then you, you know, go off. So in like the desert, are yeah. there still like small joints, like little restaurants that have stuff like this? Not restaurants. So what you'll find is that a lot of people build their majlises, like these rooms, in the desert somewhere. Okay, so they'll construct a tent and they'll have seating like this and it's a place for them and their friends to hang out like every day in the winter. Guys, yeah, so it's 11.30, I fasted all day, <laughs> I am starving. So what are we getting? I mean, an array of food, right? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So I'm, I'm gonna look at the menu. This restaurant actually has Emirati dishes, it's got Yemeni dishes, and it's got Persian dishes as well. We're gonna not do Persian and, and Yemeni, we're gonna do purely Emirati. I'm gonna see what they've got, but it's certainly gonna be a rice dish as the cornerstone of our meal because Mechbous is the authentic Emirati rice dish. And it, you can either have it with fish, chicken, or lamb. So we'll see what they got. Like this one over here, this is special. You literally find this in maybe half a dozen restaurants in the country, Jashid. And Jashid is baby shark. So they call it baby shark, but it's actually not baby shark. It's actually these little reef sharks, fully grown, and they're only fished in certain seasons, just to make sure that the numbers don't like dwindle and things like that. So if you find it in a restaurant, it's in the right season and it's completely legal and allowed. So I don't know if you've had this before. Look at that deep fried fish roe. Fish eggs, mm -hmm. but in the complete sack. And it's deep fried, it's breaded and deep fried. And oof, it's, it's beautiful. It's basically fried caviar still in a sack. Correct. That's amazing. Okay, we're trying that. Yeah. We have to try that. <laughs> awesome. Wow, that looks too good. We're All right guys, I got some the Turkish plan. coffee. Mm. Nice, dark, and thick. Okay. Mm -hmm. Really wakes me up. Mm -hmm. All right, so what do we have here? Uh, this one, soup. What kind of soup? Oh, look, this is simple salad. 
lettuce, tomatoes, and uh, cucumbers. It looks like there's some sumac on there, some lemon. And this is just the restaurant telling you, listen, eat something healthy. Not that the other stuff is not healthy, but you know, get some, <laughs> some good in you, you know, as well. <laughs> also comes with a nice broth, right? Yeah. Basically. Yeah, I don't, I'm not sure what this is. I'm gonna give it a quick shot. Give, okay. it, give it a quick taste, David, right there. Let's do it. Mm. Mm. Oh, that feels like a... A lot of lemon in here, right? Yeah. It's got, mmm, mm. interesting. It's like a nice, like a nice stock, right? It's got some, some cumin, yeah, it's like mm -hmm. a, is that a chicken stock? Is it chi I, like I a chicken it type stock? I Clear think so. chicken stock? Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. It's good. Definitely Super got, healthy, right? Yeah. Nice. Oh, I need this. Nice. I need to eat right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what do we have here? Uh, rice. White rice. Some caramelized crispy onions. This is the shark that's been just like, like well, minced yeah. pieces. It's yellow because there is turmeric in there. Coriander, you could see that. You've got onions, you've got garlic, you've got probably this, I don't know if you've seen this dried black lime as well. And it's like mm -hmm. chopped up in there as well. This is super nice. Oh, so you got the haboul as well. So that's the fish roll. Look at that. Look how, look what that looks like. Breaded, deep fried, super nice. Oh my gosh, can't wait. And this is for? The yogurt. Yogurt. A bunch of oil. People like things greasy and oily over here. This is nice. Lamb. Much moose. Right there. So, all right. So what I suggest is we start with oh, we have that to. while it's warm. So let's pick one of those up. Okay. So they're all the same, right? The same they're thing. All the same. Yeah. Okay. All the same. So they're like that. Mm -hmm. And and that's it. Just straight up. Just straight. Yeah. Mm hmm. So the best way. For me to explain that, mm -hmm. scrambled eggs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, for me, it's like a, like fish fingers in a way, mm -hmm. right? But this one, mm. nice and fried, not too much, not too deep. Mm. So there's roe in there. Absolutely. Incredible. And better thing to do is just put. A oh ton yeah, of, for sure. Turn a lemon on top of those as well. And are you supposed to dip this into any of these? So you can. I okay. mean, very easy going. Might not be a bad idea. You try one. I think try so, right? With that, with that yogurt. Mmm, mmm. Mm hmm. Oh, good. Mm hmm. Mm. This yogurt reminds me of the tajik. Mmm. Same. Similar, right? Mmm. Mm hmm. It's a rocker. Mmm. Mm hmm. Oh, that's nice. Nice and fresh. That's a great appetizer. Mm -hmm. like awesome. Very easy, oily. Mmm. Right? Perfect way to break my fast. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Amazing. All right, let's okay. put this on the side. Go for the next dish. Yeah, what's the let's next one? Let's do the shark. Okay, the so one. you said you want to try it alone, right? The way that I would do this also is get a little bit of this oil. Okay. Put some of that on it. Both of us, some lemon over there. Oh my gosh, they scrambled eggs, huh? Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Another coriander on top. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very nice, right? Yeah. Especially with the lemon, right? Yeah. Too nice as us. Now. Mm hmm. It's good, plain, beautiful. Mm -hmm. I usually, you know, I have some of this with the white rice. Okay. And then I just, I don't want the rice and I just want that plain. So. I know, I know. But but you gotta have it with the white rice as well. And once again, yeah, a little bit of this, this oil. Look at that. And this is, this oil they call semen. And this is actual, like animal oil. Yeah. So animal fat. This is animal fat. This is the good, this is the good stuff, right? And then, scoop a little bit of this. Usually end with a little bit more lemon you got to get yourself one of those as well david oh well, this is phenomenal so here's the thing we can okay. do away with the with the spoon yeah and do this with the hand get that that nice oh. that nice pinch just like yeah. we're eating a biryani oh, right same go. thing oh like yeah, that good one like that okay all right let's go mm-hmm mm -hmm. mm. mm. so tasty mm. it's beautiful with the white rice and with the onions right mm. mm-hmm Mm. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, oh yeah. Get oh, some more of that. I have to. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. It's delicious. I love this dish. This dish, mm -hmm. it's so special. You really, even in houses, mm -hmm. they don't make this regularly. No? It is really special. I mean, the machbus, you'll get a lot of. The habun, you'll get a lot of. This is like once in a blue moon type dish. It's like a delicacy, right? Mm. Yeah, and again, it's sensitive, obviously it's sharp, but this is traditional Emirati. You're only gonna have it here in season. Correct. Right? Now, a lot of people also make this exactly the same way with fish, and you can, in the okay. same format. But it's just not the same, it's not the original dish. I know, yeah. it's not, yeah. right? And I, I love this, and nice fragrance too, right? Yeah. Well, it's right? Of course, mm -hmm. gotta be. Mm -hmm. 
the yeah. only rice that we kind of eat every day over here. We eat some of the other rices, you know, mm -hmm. medium grain, long, or long grain, but not like the basmati. Yeah, yeah, huge That's Indian everyday influence, rice. right? Absolutely. Absolutely, I love it. No doubt, no doubt. Oh, great dish, mm. I love that. Let's try this sauce, so it's supposed to be, give it a little bit for you, a little bit for me. It's almost like a sambar. Tomato based for sure, not mm -hmm. sure what's in there, but a little bit over there. And once again, just mix it all. Oh, okay. This is interesting. We have this nice like tomato base, I guess like super broth, right? Yeah. When you mix it in, perfect. Let's go. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. Definitely enhances the flavor here. Very mm -hmm. nice. I like that. Mm. Oh man. I love this. I've actually not had that before with, with Jashid. Mm -hmm. Never? Nice, nice touch, yeah. yeah. I so quite like this that. This is your first time in this restaurant, right? Yeah, so some, some innovation over there with this. Yeah, food. yeah. Yeah. Mm. Oh, that is beautiful. Let's dive straight into it. Got three pieces of lamb up on top. Why don't you start with that one, David? On your side, I'll start with this one over here. It definitely has probably like tomato paste on it. Okay. All right, now get yourself a good amount of this aromatic rice. This rice is supposed to be made in a way, by the way, where mm -hmm. you could eat it plain. And if you eat this rice plain and it's good, mm -hmm. they've done a good job. So we're gonna try it plain? Yeah, so it, it's supposed to be that way. So just give it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm. Look at that. Like, Fragrance. Yeah, mm -hmm. you can have that on its own. Mm. Right? The protein should turn that into something else. This oh. reminds me of biryani. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Right away. Yeah. Influenced by it for sure. Awesome. Yeah. Mmm. 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 That's nice. That lamb. Whoa. Now, with the machbus, mm -hmm. the flavors and the spices and everything are all in the rice. Mm -hmm. It's made that way. The protein is supposed to be very low key. It okay. gives you the protein flavor, but nothing else. It shouldn't overpower the rice. Exactly. That's why this dish is actually called machbus, which is machbus rice. Okay. With something with something yeah so you can have it with lamb you can have it with chicken right you can have it with uh, with fish as well and there's a lot of great great like deep fried fish that you can have with it wow especially kingfish so oh that's king my fish. oh sure. i love it yeah Ooh. it's not too salty right it's no. nice so a lot of people will add a little bit of that on it yep. this on it just like raita just like raita exactly. oh man get another Dude, you piece of this you introduced me to the king of Emirati dishes right here. <laughs> yeah. This is it. This is it. This is absolutely the king of Emirati dishes. Look at that. Because of that like yogurt, it's gonna yeah. be very pasty, it's gonna glue it together. Absolutely. Look at that. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm. 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 That's nice, right? It's amazing. Mellows it out a little bit. I love it. Oh, it's good. refreshing. Cucumbers. Yum. Oh. Yeah, I gotta keep going. This one I won't leave that much. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that it's probably good with this as well. I'm sure. You wanna I'll give you a little bit of that. Cause, okay. Cause you got the yogurt, right? Yeah. And imagine yogurt and tomato. Perfect. Nothing like these rice dishes. Yeah. Mmm. Mm-hmm. The mix there. Yeah, that is So great. good. Oh. Mm-hmm. Oh. Wow. Wow. This is so good. This dish is phenomenal. I love this. So this is like the ultimate Emirati dish. This is the ultimate Emirati dish. If you could eat one thing that was Emirati, this is the first thing that you should order. Mmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. It is unreal. Don't worry about the mess we make. Oh. It's meant to be that way. That's why you got this plastic. So just throw it out. You just like throw it all out. It's amazing. Awesome. Oh, yum. All right, I'm still hungry, but I don't want to overeat. Me either. Yeah. Two more restaurants. Maybe have a little piece of <laughs> lamb here. I know it, it's. And I'm good. Yeah, it's one. Of, it's it's one of those things. Mm -hmm. I have another piece left. Mm, I love the marination. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it is tomato, right? Mm. You know, I love like lamb. People think it's gamey, gamey. Mm. No, man, it's lean. I love it. You know, a little bit of fat. Perfect. Yeah. How are you feeling? I feel great. Broke the fast with this amazing meal. Now we have two more spots. Let's do it. On Let's to go. The next. Let's, Let's go. go. All right, so we're here with the chef, and he just made these beautiful little breads. So hot. So hot. Oh, <laughs> it was steaming. Oh. oh. It's good, though. Mmm, nice and fresh. Thank you. I have another bite. Mmm. Nice. Very nice. All right, let's keep going. Talk around. Talk around. All right, let's go. Good day. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.
All right. More Marathi food. Oh, I can't wait. This food is too delicious. So it's called Nahash. Nahash. All right, so the other restaurant has closed down their seating area. So it's just delivery now. So we're going to another restaurant called Al Jalbut, which is right by the water. And there's a view of the Burj Al Arab as well. Great food and great ambiance too. So. If you guys don't know what the Burj Al Arab is, this is the sail, right? It's a thousand foot tower, right? So super tall, right there on the water. It's a hotel. My father and I went there back in 06, just to eat at the buffet. And they actually attached something and they have on top a tennis court, right? That's where like a lot of the professionals, they go and they you basically play on top of the Burj Al Arab. It's a helicopter landing pad, but uh, it, it uh, they created a tennis court on it for an ad. Oh yeah, for Roger Federer, right? Yeah. I think. Uh, yeah. Right here. No. I'm hungry. I'm ready. I'm ready to go as well. And this is the building right in front of a marina. Look at that. So super mega yachts right here. The Burj Al Arab over here. So it feels like you know a seafood restaurant right here. Beautiful. So everybody's on jet skis. It's exploring as many restaurants on this whole little area. But we're going to this one, Al Jalbut, right? So I think we're gonna sit traditional style in there. They also have that type of seating. But then as you walk in, dude, it reminds me of like a Greek restaurant. It looks like that, right? Yeah, yeah. And then you come this way and you have where we're actually gonna sit. So look at that, that's a traditional floor seating area. So always at the right, right? Always at the right, here we go. Yep. The best part about this is that if you get really tired, you go to sleep. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got that food coma. This is yeah, like the yeah. best place for it. And you can also like do shisha and just lay here, right? <laughs> yeah. I don't know if they provide shisha here, but it's... No, they don't, but yeah, that yeah. would be... Because yeah. in Kuwait, they did it. Like, we were eating, and then they just brought the shisha, and we're just like, oh, <laughs> God. This is awesome. Beautiful. So we're going to get a mix, right? Different dishes yeah. to last time. Absolutely. Probably something with fish. I'm thinking like a nice fish stew with white rice. Again, synonymous with people who used to live here by the water and who used to depend on the sea for, for food. And uh, maybe we'll get some appetizers that are also seafood and things like that. All right, so first of all, obviously we're gonna eat with our hands, right? So we gotta wash our hands. So there's a traditional way of washing hands over here. And the gentleman over here, Mr. Farouk, Farouk is gonna help Welcome, us sir. wash our hands. Welcome, okay. sir. Choke it on, choke it on. Oh, nice and cold. Very nice. Oh, it's perfect. Yeah. Okay, you know what, let me just... Freshen up, right? Chocolate, chocolate. Okay, so I'm thinking we get chili potatoes, first of all. So just diced potatoes with chili sauce. And then we do the salona fish. Salona is basically stew over here. So anywhere you go and you say salona, it means stew. And we'll get the kingfish sliced in the stew with white rice. And then we do something called thrid, which is basically bread, like the naan bread, but just chopped up into like this dish and then Salona poured on top of it so it's like soggy and nice with chicken. What do you think? That's perfect. I need some coffee though. Yeah. <laughs> so, cups in the right hand, and I do this, and that means there's coffee. We're ready for coffee. Get this one with the left hand, okay? Pick it up with two fingers, pour, not a lot, Okay. all right? And then I'll hand it to you with your right hand. Okay. All right. And I'm the host, so I will wait while you drink. Okay. And it's supposed to be a little like that. There you go. Now, if you want more, mm. good? Yeah, amazing. Yeah? Yeah. Aromatic. Aromatic. Yeah. So different. Cardamom, yeah. like it, it, it feels like a dark roast. That's what makes this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, you want more? You basically just hold your hand out to me. Okay. Put it on top of this again. Okay. I'll give you some more. I like this. Again, a little so bit. So the host always does The this, host right? does that, and I've got to wait until you so I'm done. Till you're done. And okay. I'll tell you when you're done. So let's say that's the last coffee that you want. Okay. So you do instead you don't say anything, you just do this. And then I'll just take that. Okay. And that's it. I go away. I'll put this down. No, I want more. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> that is a beautiful. This kind of date I think is called the sukkari date. They're like super, super sweet. So perfect to have with your coffee. Just grab one of those. Mmm. Yeah. You can feel the sugar. Yeah, yeah, it's like yeah. sticky. Yeah. These, a lot of times, so these are the ones that are not dry, but you leave these out. See this little white area over here? Mm -hmm. This will turn into like, like hard sugar and really, really actually very nice. Well, mm, very great. I've been to Morocco during Ramadan, and usually during Ramadan, you break fast with dates, right? Absolutely. The sugar, right? Give Absolutely. you a sugar rush. Absolutely. It's amazing. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Right? Super, like, 
you feel like you just put a spoon of sugar in your mouth. Mm -hmm. Perfect for setting yourself up for that dark roast, mm. medium roast coffee. And it's filling, hmm? Oh, wow. Yeah. Great combination, yeah. yeah Chokran. If you guys don't know how to say thank you in Arabic, Chokran. There we go. Awesome. What an experience, huh? Oh, it's fantastic. This is I great. These guys make some good, some good coffee. Mm. Huh? So good. The problem is like I have like 50 cups of these. <laughs> I like six already. <laughs> yeah. These are great. Oh yeah, those mm. dates are, we always have those dates at home. All day, right? I love that. Mm -hmm. I could eat like seven, eight of those. And that's a lot of sugar, but yeah. I know, I know. <laughs> and so what are the name of these dates? Sukkari. Sukkar, mm -hmm. shakar, sugar. Same. Got it. Mm. So basically at the market you can get this, right? Oh yeah, absolutely. So what do we have here? Look at that mountain of white rice. This is the white rice. So what do we got? Okay, so we've got, start with this, spicy potato. So this is actually a dish that is very much from the Levant, from like like that Lebanon, Jordan, that area. Potatoes, diced, lots of chili on top, a little bit of tomato paste, some rocca on the side. So this is our appetizer. Then we've got this, which is our semi-appetizer and our road into the main dish. And this is tharid with chicken. So these are pieces of bread. I'm just gonna pull one very quickly. Look at that. Bread like that. They're shredded, like laid on top of each other and then stew just poured on top of it. Very nice. The bread becomes super soggy and beautiful. And then we've got this main dish and that is kingfish sliced like just about an inch thick and then made into a stew and that is a tomato based stew we've got potatoes we've got carrots oh, just a ton of spices this thing smells phenomenal so this one's just an appetizer so i would just take a bunch of these maybe three or four to get a good mm -hmm. good bite so nice and chilies right Chili yeah picks. yeah mm -hmm. mm. Mm. Not too spicy. Nice, yeah. Mm -hmm. So lots of garlic, mm -hmm. lots of chili, tomato paste, and some chopped up coriander. Mm. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Like it's spicier as it sits in your mouth. Yeah, it's like <laughs> a back burner spice, yeah. right? Yeah. And what is this? Just a waka. Waka. Raka, like you know, raka. like a local raka. So they're like just has like a different. You can grow this in the house, by the way. A lot of people grow this in their gardens. Mm -hmm. Where they call it jerjir. Jerjir. Yeah. Mm. So that's like local local raka. Nice. Mm -hmm. That's really good. So I eat it all. Mellows out the, the spice a little. Ooh, mm -hmm. that's spicy. It equalizes it a little bit, yeah. right? But next, we, we do this one. That okay. is the, the gateway into the main dish. Okay. Look at this. Like, this is kind of like a like a pie now. It's it's so soggy that it turns into like a pie. So look at that. I want to give this to you. This is a, this is a fresh spoon. Look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. I, I want to get this whole whole thing with, with the chicken. So it's nice layers of bread. Nice layers of bread. It looks and like this, a curry. So so this is, it is a, it is a curry. So it's okay. curry. And this bread, this is the rigag bread. Have you heard of that before? Yeah, I heard. Crispy pancake. It's mm -hmm. like the dosa. Okay. So imagine this being 10 layers of dosa. Okay. And then a stew being poured on top of it. Wow, but like the dough ear, right? The dough ear. Dough ear, okay. Yeah. Perfect. All right, let's go. Mm hmm? Mm hmm. So obviously it's soggy. Mm hmm. Mm. Love the, the curry, not too spicy. Mm. And so you have chicken here, so. It's like nice pieces of chicken. And almost, you know, when I say the word dosa, it, it, it reminds me of a soggy dosa when you dip it into the sambal. Exactly, you know exactly, yeah, yeah. Right? So you like soak it up. Mmm. Mmm. That was nice. Oh, it's amazing. It's super comforting. Mm-hmm. So we had three dishes. We have these two. So these are like, how many dishes are in Emirati cuisine? So you say? The, the cuisine is not super diverse, right? So you've yeah. got the machbous, which is that rice that's cooked in spices, and mm -hmm. you can get that in versions of lamb, chicken, or fish. Okay. And then you've got something else, which you make the same thing as machbous, but it's made with wheat okay. instead of rice. Right. That's another version. And then you've got things like the tharid, and the tharid could be made with chicken, fish, or uh, or lamb as well, got same it. thing. So you see like we have dishes, but they can be made three ways with three different protein. Exactly. And then you've got a bunch of stews. And again, the stews, similar, fish, chicken, or uh, or, or lamb, Perfect. right? And that is the core of our dishes. Everything else is just like extras. And we've got things like the jashid, the shark. We've got things like haris, which is that beaten wheat and, uh, and, and pulled lamb. We've got that as well. Got it. So I'm gonna take this. Nice piece, and I'm gonna lay it on the side over there. And a 
potato as well on the side and put a little of this it's got to be thick you know it's got like i could tell they actually have tomatoes that were maybe like blended and then and then put into the to the sauce beautiful sticks to the rice a lot better tastes a lot better so you're ready to go so i suggest you get a spoon for this okay because then you get a nice big bite so here you would use a spoon and a fork okay fork in the left hand spoon in the right hand so the bone is right in the center i take it out so you just go through like pulling it apart and then obviously in the center you're gonna have that the spine basically there right? you go like that right so you just gotta break it up be careful with the bones right that's it and nicely then, done and then we mix nicely done that's it mix it up into the rice get yourself a nice mountain on that spoon a nice mountain like that here Good. we go, yeah. Mmm. Mmm. I love this fish, yeah. Mm. Not too fishy, not too salty, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The gravy is nice. Here's the thing mm -hmm. kingfish could get fishy very quickly Can it? if it's not fresh. Okay, got so it. So if you freeze this, mm -hmm. it'll be fishy. Yeah. That's why you know this fish is super fresh and we're by the water right so exactly these guys fish they bring it over the marathi fish like yeah mm -hmm. it's very mellow right mellow yeah it's um mm. very tomato -y, right very tomato -y. all tomato based so all, all of the stews in the uae are tomato based got it really nice and it feels like so there's this mix of spices that people use here kind of marinate the fish in so it, it feels like definitely they marinated the fish and then fried it and then they cooked that stew and then they dropped the fish back into it after it was fried so wow. that's how that was done that's how it was done yeah yeah if the fish feels fishy it's not good oh yeah mm. Mm -hmm. a steak of a fish right oh yeah mm -hmm. yeah yeah it's a great way to to, 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 yeah, to define, yeah, 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 that, that kingfish mm -hmm. steak. All right, guys, one last bite. Oh, wow. get it, get it. Yeah, yeah. Get it. Just put some of this on it. You need this gravy. Love the gravy. Yeah. Nice and thick, you said, right? Yeah, oh, super nice. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm -mm. mm. Everything is so delicious, but I have to have one more bite of these potatoes with chili. Mm-hmm. Mm. Reminds me of chili paneer. Obviously, no paneer. Potatoes, mmm, you chew the aspect, nice pasty, mm -hmm. a little spicy, it's perfect. All right, guys, so let's go. We're going to a tea house now. Need some Arabic tea right in front of the Borj Arab. My friend, thanks, 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 thank you so much, amazing. Shukran, shukran, shukran. See you next time. Inshallah. Take care, inshallah, inshallah. Let's go. After a quick five minute drive, we're here at Arabian Tea House Restaurant and Cafe and it's inside this mall right in front of the Burj Al Arab right there. As you can see, look, they're making bread right in front of us. Hey, how you doing? Everything good? Everything good? Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. So what's happening here? Hey guys, how you doing? So here we're going to finish this tour up with some desserts once again special you won't find it a lot of places so this is it they got a bunch of nice desserts so they got legemot which is this over here they're these mini donuts super nice and they've got date syrup on them we can have them with tea we got this thing over here khabisa and this is basically flour and butter really nice sweet as well it's like got, halva right yeah and it's got rose water and stuff like that as well super nice we'll get some nice tea just kind of finish it all off right here by the bush. So the tea here, is it like chai, like in India, similar? Like with milk or no? If you want, you could get the karak. Yeah, karak. Otherwise, you know, you could have just a plain black tea as well, you know, with, with no sugar, no nothing. And you have the sweets as the sweetener and everything. So up to you. They have great karak, by the way, as well. Perfect. But if you want, we can get one of each and try both. Let's do it. And so this restaurant has indoor seating, only like two tables. And there you can see the guys baking bread, making kebabs, really amazing stuff. It's like literally a live kitchen right in front of you. And you come outside right here, they have a terrace, you know, like six tables. And right over here behind us, we have the Borj Al Arab. Incredible, dude, I can't get used to it. It's awesome. It's awesome. Look at that. All right. This is the karak tea? Yes, sir. So the blue is the chai. Oh, the it's red. Suleimani. Suleimani tea. Yes, no, like black tea over here. I don't know why, but we call it Suleimani. Suleimani. Yeah, so people know that Suleimani is without milk. If you just say tea, you know in India, if you say chai, automatically with milk. Yeah, and then here, what do we got? So we've got the legemot. So that is deep fried, little donut-like 
skulls and it's got sesame on top. You got those walnuts over there and date syrup all over that. And then the chabisa. And this is basically flour and oil. I would say saffron in there. I'd say it has rose water in there and I'd say it has cardamom in there as well. So look at that. So that we know, you get a red and you get a blue. Perfect. So what are we gonna try first? So grab yourself a, one of these donuts. That's gonna sweeten our palate for when we have these two things. So even this one is not, mm, this one is sweet. A little bit. Maybe one of these, oh look at that. And that is completely like covered in that date syrup. This is made in different ways, in different houses. So sometimes it's completely soft like a donut. Sometimes it's soft on the inside and crispy on the outside. And sometimes it's completely crispy. It's just crunchy, the whole thing. I think this one is crispy on the outside, soft on the inside. I, I have a feeling it's that. Yep. You hear that crunch, but it very quickly becomes all doughy and stuff like that. Date syrup. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amazing donut. Oh, you can eat, you can eat like 30 of these. I know. And with walnuts? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Sesame? Mm -hmm. And walnuts? Oh, yeah. That's so good. So it's like drowning that syrup, right? Mm. Mm. It's nice and doughy. Perfect. Nice crunch, too. Beautiful. I love mm -hmm. it. I love it. Look, look, at, look at the bottom over there. Yeah, right. Oh. Look at all that date syrup. So it's like, grab this one, right? Oh. Like you the, got the one. Like soak it up. You got the one right there. Oh. This could be the one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so good. Mm hmm. Get that tea right behind you. Mm hmm. Right, right, wash it down. right away. Mmm. I love these donuts, man. Oh, yeah. Pata cleanser right here. Mmm. Piping hot. Here in the Middle East, in India, everything's piping hot. Piping hot with piping heat. <laughs> it's like it's hot everywhere. <laughs> if it gets warm, I can't, I can't drink it. Yeah, I have I to make a new pot. <laughs> So let's do this. This is this is special as well. And look at that. I, I feel like they put some date syrup up. Oh, they did. They put a little bit of date syrup over here as well. So get that. Look at that. That just looks like dough and flour. Mmm. Very pasty. Mmm. It's got cardamom. It's got rose water, and it's got saffron, and it's beautiful. And, and actually, perfect with this. Yo. Cardamom, rose water, and saffron. I mean, that that's the best, right? Saffron is the most expensive spice in the world. It's amazing. Cardamom and everything, right? Mm hmm. Mm. Love it, nice and crumbly. That's awesome, right? Mm hmm. Oh, man. Mm. So I won't stop. <laughs> oh, wow. Amazing. Oh, yeah. Nice and sweet. Not too much. This is like decadent, right? Mm hmm. Awesome. Creamy. And you wash it all down with the karat. Karak. So this is karak chai, like from India. Exactly. Exactly the same. Mm -hmm. This is still the beginning of the end. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, one last bite, guys. Two last bites. Yeah. <laughs> Never ending. Maybe three. <laughs> And that is it, my Emirati food tour with Payman was epic. What an experience, dude. Thank you so much. I had no idea about Emirati food until this tour. Oh, I'm super glad. Yeah, a lot man. of people don't because we just don't have a lot of restaurants, mm -hmm. but we've got a few. They're great. I hope you enjoyed the food. Loved it, man. Yeah? Everything was delicious. And we ended it like the perfect spot right here in front of the Burj. Exactly. You know, we, we sweetened everything up, so I hope yeah. you enjoyed that. Thank man. you so much. It's great to hang out. My favorite thing was that lamb with the rice. Oh. What's the name of the dish again? Mechbus with lamb. Mechbus with lamb. Wow. Just like flavor explosion in your mouth. Incredible. Guys, if you ever find yourself in Dubai, definitely hit up these three spots. You will love it. And definitely follow my boy Payment right here. And if you love this video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. I'll see you in the next travel food adventure in Dubai. Let's go.